Well, ladies and gents, uh, welcome back to a, a bit of a windy plot today. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't done any videos. I've been uh, rather ill. I've had flu. And before anybody makes any jokes, no, not man flu, proper flu. Um, been in bed for four days. So, and it's not been a very nice weather either, so I'm up with work commitments. So anyway, I'm back on this afternoon for a bit. I'm going to try and get the decking down for the shed up there. Um, I've got all the shed down here. Um, it's really, really nice because I've actually got some garlic popping through. I'll try and get you down there without falling in. Um, it all seems to be firing up nicely there. Um, so, just a quick sort of start video. I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna try and crack on and get the shed done over this weekend, but the weather hasn't give right cracking, so I'll just have to see how it goes. Um, I want to ask a question. All these bags down here, they're full of um, spent hops. I've got a couple of little breweries, so I'll just try and open a bag and show you. I've got a couple of local breweries down here um, and I can get absolutely tons of this stuff so now can I use it as a mulch on the beds some people on the internet say yes some people say no um, I am going to compost quite a lot of it once I get them compost bins built um, and I, I can get quite a lot of old chipped bark that's that's really well rotted down so I'm thinking do I mix it 50-50 with the bark and use it for top dressing I'm gonna dig quite a bit in when I do my vegetable um, vegetable my uh, fruit beds which are gonna be down in that corner there I've decided I'm going to do individual beds for the different types of raspberries and my rhubarb and but they won't be anywhere near as wide as these ones uh, and they're going to be out of scaffold boards i managed to acquire myself 20 reclaimed scaffold boards at five pound each so hopefully i'll be getting them down here tomorrow um, and i'll be able to make my beds because my raspberries and my rhubarb everything's starting to kick in so I need to I need to get them in if you can just see in there we've got a nice little sprout coming so it's actually starting to warm up a little bit although it's horrible and uh, Storm Doris didn't seem to bother us really we had a bit of wind and rain but we didn't really have the problems that they've had everywhere else uh, so it's just a case and I think this weekend the weather's to chuck it down both days so my wife will be very happy that means I'm painting so I'm going to sign off for now uh, and hopefully I'll keep I've, I've, I've worked out how to add videos together so I should be able to uh, do a few little videos over the next few days and add them all together into a sort of watchable video as you can see there I'm just doubling up all the joists on the base just whilst I can just so that because it is going to have to sit on the ground um, it's going to be up a little bit but it's going to have to sit on the ground but I'm going to coat it in old engine oil and I've got some really thick black visqueen that I'm going to put on it as well so right that's it for now folks uh, and I'll be back soon Well, ladies and gents, that's a, a, a couple of hours work done. Um, I've not managed to get a lot done. I, I'm still pretty knackered, to be honest, from having flu. Um, but I just wanted to get down and do a little bit, get a bit of fresh air. So I've finished bed three, um, put all the little pieces in the bottom to infill. Um, I've levelled it out as best I can, put some bark compost in. Um, as you can see there, I've just filled the bottom in. So I've got three beds done, um, I think next time, which depends on the weather this weekend, I'll be back on the shed. Um, as you can see I've had to build a little plinth of Yorkshire stone there to level it up. I didn't realise it was so out of level to be honest, 
Um, I've just mixed up a bit, a bit of cement and what I'm going to do tomorrow morning I'll come down and I'll scrape all the cement out of the front where you can see I've cemented the, all the little stones together at the front I'll come and I'll scrape it all back so that when you look at it it just looks like a dry stone wall um, there's the, the base for the shed so all depending on the rain tomorrow and Sunday I should be able to get down and get on um, it, it's been a funny fortnight for me I've lost a couple of really good friends and neighbours um, both of them died within a week one lady 92 we found her on the floor um, and the, 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 the saddest one is, is a really good friend of mine um, sorry forget a bit upset um, and my gardening mentor really um, a, a chap called Derek I won't give his full name out but if if anybody knows anything about onions giant onion growing um, about, so about 10 years ago Derek was the champion basically he's the only person to win the sort of onion championship at Arrogate three three years on trot um, he won everything big onions little onions leeks pot leeks he went all over the place um, Medwin of Angle City on his sort of website you can read a few bits about him so um, he was 88 let's say champion champion onion grower um, and a good friend um, he died. Died. He, he went into a home and 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 and, and passed away in hospital um, with his family around him, which was really nice. But I will miss him. Um, he was really my vegetable mentor. Um, when I moved over here ten years ago, um, a few weeks after, I saw this chap uh, living across from me bring out these things from his back garden that all I can say were unbelievable three foot long purest white straight leeks I've ever seen in my life um, put them in the back of his car went off to Harrogate when he came back I got talking to him and he showed me these onions that he was growing they were as big as my head uh, and at that point I'd never even seen big onions they were humongous they were they were as big as my head but I think Derek were best known for the caliber of his onions not not really not just the size um, but the quality of what he used to grow and to say he grew it in a little back garden with some old sort of plastic greenhouses that uh, it were amazing what that man could grow and when you talk to him um, about vegetables he lit up um, it was it were it, it were an amazing bloke and I'm gonna miss him so uh, if let's like say any anybody who who knows about giant onions um, you will you will know Derek from Skipton from Empsey um, like I say about 10 years and 10 years ago he sort of really finished showing but I did it for a couple of 20 30 years before that um, I am trying to get hold of some of his onion seed now obviously without saying his name people might not know who he is but if you do know anything about giant onions and you know giant onion growing you will have heard of Derek and there are a few people that I've seen on YouTube with Derek's onions uh, Mick Pulteney for one but I can't seem to get hold of him and I just I'm trying to get hold of some of his seed we did have some but unfortunately with Derek being poorly for the last few years it sort of got left and it in greenhouse and it's gone manky so uh, I really really want to try and get hold of some of his seed sorry it's it's a bit hard to talk um yeah I really really want to try and get hold of some of his seed so like I say if anybody knows anybody in the you know the, the big onion growing stuff and old pot leeks you know um, the will the will have heard of Derek from Empsey from Skipton
and, and if anybody can help me out to get hold of some seed I'd uh, really appreciate it so that's me signing off folks um, hopefully again I'll be back this weekend and like I say I'll get that shed up and you know I'll be able to leave all my tackle down here and not have to take it home like I keep doing right um, I know it's only a little quick video like I say really it's a sort of call out for a bit of help to try and get hold of um, some of Derek's onion seed because I've emailed a few people but I don't seem to be getting anywhere okie doke thank you very much bye bye